What do you think on the strength of the pound? We've seen the longest string of gains since June on on this uh, uh, confidence that, that the conservatives are going to win. Well, I think, you know, it's not really surprising in the sense that the pound has uh, was uh, very, very weak and has been weak for a long time. Valuation was very supportive. Uh, investors were actually short. Uh, and you actually see uh, on the UK economy, the numbers are not great, but probably not as bad as many people expect. So I think, and this obviously comes in a period when the dollar is showing some sign of weakness, which I think will continue. So I think the combination of the polls, valuation, positioning, and some economic data support the view uh, that the pound uh, will have a little bit more upside. We expect 136 for the end of next year. It's nothing dramatic, but this trend uh, we think will continue for a little bit longer. What do you expect in terms of uh, Brexit and the, the sort of uh, the trade negotiations that come after? I mean, I've had um, some FX traders come on here and say we could get a pop um, when you get the Brexit deal, when you get the election, when you get the Brexit deal, but after that, it's going to be tough going. Well, you know, I think what's going to happen is that if the Conservatives win the election, uh, Brexit will happen in January. And then we will have, I think, we all know, I think all the negotiation will take a lot of time. I think Brexit will come off the airlines for a few months. The focus will be actually more on the U.S. election. I think we have probably one year of kind of relative calm, I think. And then obviously there will be more negotiations to come. The difficult one, probably at the end of next year. So I think we're going to have a few months of relative calm that should support uh, the pound. Uh, and that's, 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 that's our view.